What's well, good, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Black and Aquatics Freedom Through Swimming. Sorry, it's been a little while. I've been super busy these past couple of weeks. So, Happy New Year. I hope everyone's New Year is good to a great start. World Aquatics, previously known as FINA, announced back in December that starting, I believe, in the Paris 2024 games, that men will be able to compete in artistic swimming, which is great. The next thing on the list is that Simone Manuel released a short documentary in partnership with Together, and I wrote up a quick blog post about it. I really recommend watching that documentary if you haven't. I'll be sure to put the link in the show notes below. I watched that and I thought it was great. I mean, you know, definitely have a lot of respect for her especially as an elite athlete. And last things last, I was featured in a live. I hopped on a live with Shauna of Let Us Swim and Ngia of A Black Girl Who Swims. And we basically just talked about the world swim culture and creating a safe space for black and brown people in aquatics. I will also put a link to that in the show notes. I may also try and get the audio from that live and upload it, but I'm not 100% sure. I've been messing around with that and haven't quite figured exactly how to do that. So that's pretty much what's been going on with me. Oh, also, I forgot last but not least, Shauna from Let Us Swim will be hosting an Instagram live on this upcoming Monday with Mia A young girl that would be representing the Bahamas in the next upcoming Olympics. So be sure to check that out. It looks like every Monday at 10 a.m. she's going to be getting on with someone in the industry, you know, like other black people in the industry and doing IG lives. So I highly recommend checking her out on Instagram. Her handle is at let us swim. That's all for this week. Thanks for checking in. Peace.